Hi, I'm Tori. I'm a rocket scientist. And I'm Chris, and I'm an astronaut. Very soon, we're going to begin launching Americans back to space from American soil. And we're going to talk about some of the most important questions relative to that. All right, Chris, perhaps the most important question. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Trek. Trouble with triples. Me too. That is my favorite episode. I know I liked you. Pocket square or flight suit? Well, actually, I would like a flight suit that would take a pocket square. What is your favorite snack? Crawfish etouffee. What's yours? Peanut butter and jelly. What is the coolest fact about the Atlas V Starliner? It actually has an injection seat-like function. And not many people know that. So for me, I think the, the thing I think about is the coolest fact is that it is all propellant. It's at least 90% by mass propellant. What is your favorite fun launch fact? When we ignite the rocket, we actually have to hold it down until it builds up enough thrust that it can steer itself, and then we let it go, and then away it goes. That is a really cool answer. Superstitions or rituals pre-flight. The one ritual that the astronauts have had for decades. We all have to play no draw five hand poker with the chief of the astronaut office and you have to play until the chief of the astronaut office loses. What is g-force? g-force is the apparent acceleration a body feels by virtue of changing its rate and velocity. So we measure it in g's which are increments of your weight on earth. We usually use earth as the reference. That's an incredibly geeky answer. <laughs> they say, well, what, did G feel, what does G feel like when you accelerate in a rocket? And we all said it was like having a gorilla sit on your chest. Oh, wow. I don't know how many Gs equal one gorilla. What would be a lucky launch token or good luck charm for you? I really always enjoyed the last meal before we went to space. And they made you anything you wanted. Oh, really? I thought it was amazing. They said, what do you want? <laughs> I said, you'll make me anything? Would you make me lobster thermidor if I wanted it? They said, absolutely. Wow. I always had a ham sandwich. <laughs> so that ham sandwich is your lucky charm. What's your favorite headwear? My cowboy hat. My Eagles Super Bowl championship hat. Rock on, Tori. What is the most asked question about the Atlas V Starliner? How many people can you take? Followed closely by, how do you go to the bathroom? So I know what you ended up doing, Tori, but what did you want to be when you grew up? I want to do this. I want to be a rocket scientist. Absolutely. I didn't. I wanted to be a chef. Really? No. <laughs> I, I always wanted to be an astronaut, too. <laughs> the most vital leading to launch moment. Everybody gets a vote on launch day. Everybody has to get a poll and they say yes, no. And to me, the most vital moment is when they ask the crew if they're ready to launch. For me, it's kind of the same thing, only on our side of that. It's that final polling before the terminal count, the last four minutes when the clock goes live. What is the fastest you've ever traveled? The final liftoff of Atlantis, shoulders of the space shuttle. How about you? What's the most ridiculous fact you know? I know that the medieval Knights Templars had a regulation that prevented them from changing their underwear too often. Wow, that's a bad rule. <laughs> your most useless talent. I can turn my eyelids inside out. Do you like a demonstration? Yeah. No, I can't do that. <laughs> it's not really a useless talent for everybody, but it certainly is for me. I'm a pretty good roper. I have a lasso, you know, and I can throw a pretty good rope. Excitement level for launch day, one to 10. 11. I was gonna say 11 too. 